thing or two. <laughs> it's, 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 it's impossible. I'm, I'm glad that you said that because I'm not an Italian player, but I've watched a lot of Italian games and I'm still none the wiser. Like, I'm not really sure like why the pawn on A5 is better than A6. Than A6. Yeah. Now, I understand that A5 has certain consequences. The bishop can now go to B5, but I'm not sure what this is plan i'm also not really sure like what kind of plan white should be adopting as well you know especially where to put the, the knight there on the queen side yeah miro are you the uh, yeah obviously i'm a proper person to ask i have <laughs> no slightest idea um well from my experience discussing this position with some top players they are not that far off from our knowledge. The, it turns out, I was told by Alexander Krischuk, who understands chess uh, quite a bit, that if you chose to play with a5 and you are stopping b4, then you can play bishop b6 and take with the pawn. If you double your pawns, you go bishop b6, and at the same time you let white grab the space on the queen side, this is considered to be not very good. But once again, they're not very good. It's, you know, some this is sent pawns difference in evaluation which for us mortals I believe <laughs> doesn't really doesn't really change much so I believe white what white does usually is all the same so hide the bishop bishop b3 bishop c2 that's what he started bishop goes to c2 knight will go to d2 f1 g3 and eventually he tries to play d4 so that, that's pretty much where my knowledge stops <laughs> I, I, I know one little rule as well, that uh, white tends to be better in these types of positions because their light square bishop, even when tucked away, after the central expansion, will be better than black's bishop. Uh -huh, so there, there's also that small piece of knowledge, but as to which piece configuration white should be going for, I'm not really sure. You know, the traditional way for me is always knight d2, knight f1, and then I will get to g3. But these days, you know, I've also seen bishop g5 be a very trendy idea. Whether it's valid in this particular position, I don't know. But uh, bishop e6 is coming. So Grishuk's uh, advice was spot on. Yeah, mm -hmm. oh, bishop e6. So after this bishop e6, um, now it's a question for the bishop on b3, right? I think when you moved it to b3, um, you intend.
have those um what do you call them those yeah the stick yeah those like stick <laughs> breathing thing you know yeah. with the metal detector yeah yeah metal detector that they use to check and uh well let's uh move on to the chess and uh, we can see Hikaru is in full killer mode he's in a fantastic position about to win oh and he's in calculation mode yeah calculating <laughs> i like this Second. i like this gesture also sometimes he um trying to reach some invisible right, mouse right, yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's he's he yeah he does that so many times like he's trying to reach the mouse and he forgot that he was playing it over the board okay. no e5 played so now say black's only hope is that he he's managed to Right after ninety-three, right? Mm -hmm. Are you saying rook takes bishop? You can take, take an a six. Yeah. Uh, the knight is not quick knight enough not to catch it. So yeah. That's why he played a five so confidently. Okay, because I wasn't sure that he had a d five. Once, once you see that Hikaru is doing this mirror, <laughs> yeah, you're, you you could be quite certain about it. <laughs> There's no miscalculation going on. No, I'm. Um, um, Hikaru is a great calculator and yeah, great, great spot there from so what Hikaru's. Do we have? But maybe black can uh, play bishop to c4 now? No, uh, it's it's mid. Mid. <laughs> not immediately. Not immediately. That means the game is over, right? <laughs> I, 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 you know, I used up so, many, so much of my energy yesterday finding the best moves. <laughs> Now I've got the you're reverse. Back here. I'm, you're back here, and I'm showing them why I'm an international master. Just inconsistent. Okay, yeah. Okay, the move, the king. But, yeah. Oh, then oh, the no. handshake. Yeah. The hand, that is it. Hikaru yeah. wins. And still did. And uh, yeah, Hikaru won both games. And he's one point ahead of Magnus Carlsen. He is one point ahead of Magnus Carlsen, but it's still very much early days. And uh, it's nice to see Hikaru and his opponent analyzing there. And that means we should move on down to some other games. To Anish, Anish game? Yep, let's uh, head on down there. And that bishop on e2 is very doomed. 